Hi guys and welcome to this bootstrap video. This is Jamie from System22 and Web Design and Tech Tips. Well, I had a great question. Um, you know, we built this site in one of our courses here. And one of the questions was, how do you actually change the font family? And when I say the font family, I mean the way the text displays. Font family is the family of fonts, funnily enough, that the site's made up of. Well, if you just go ahead and select a bit of text here. Right, I'm using Google Chrome. I just right clicked and hit inspect. And we scroll down. You want to make sure that you've got your styles tab open and your elements tab open on this side. And scroll down to where it says font family. Here we are. Here's the font family. And this happens to be Roboto. And it says it's in the main CSS file. So we know where the CSS file is for that. So if we go to our folder, here are our CSS file. And it was in one called main, which is this one. So let's go ahead and open this with brackets. Brackets is free software. You can download it free from brackets.io. So let's go down and here we are. Here's the body. Here's the font family we're using at the moment. Now if we go down a bit further, here's the header text h123456. So all the headers, well, it's all the same font family actually, but all the headers are Roboto there. And the body is also Roboto. So we can just go ahead and change it to something uh, that we, you know, a different one. So let's, let's change the body font family to Helvetica. you want to see a, a list of web safe fonts just google web safe fonts and it'll come up with a list that it's safe to use so we'll use helvetica for the body and let's use something different for the for the header How about verdana And these are sans serif, which means they don't have the squiggly bit below. Or on the, on the, if I just pull this over, I'm just looking at web safe fonts here. Uh, this is a serif one. You see, it's got those little drop downs and the, the little bits on the bottom here. That's a serif font. This is a sans serif. It doesn't have those little, little pointy bits on the end of the things. So if you choose a serif font, make sure you also change that from sans serif to serif. Just take that bit away there. So we've got Vedana for our heading and we've got Helvetica for our body text. Let's save this, control S and go back to the site. Now, when we refresh, this should change to our new one. And so should that there. There we go. And just to check it, let's right click on it, inspect it. You can see it's changed already. Font family, Vadana. And the body text. font file Helvetica. It's fine. So to me, that looks a bit small now. So what if we want to change the size of that font there? Well, I think Bootstrap's default font is 16, but we can change that easy enough. Let's go back to our main CSS file here. And here's the body text, which we want to change. That we think it's maybe a bit small. Let's say font size. colon and let's make it 20 picks we could have done this live i'll show you in a minute how to do this live before you test before you actually put it in your css sheet let's save that control s back to the site and refresh there we go now let's change our body text to 20 and everywhere that there's body text it would have changed it 
unless it's got its own overriding CSS there. So all our body text has now been changed to that. If we just take that away for a moment, let's go back to our CSS. I'm going to undo that. Let's put a different font in here. Let's say Lato. And let's put another one in here just for fun. Let's make it Arial. And save that. Control S back to our site. And refresh now, and this should go back. That should be the same size, and our font style should change as well. So now we should have. A lato for the top. Let's just see if that's worked. Or Arial, sorry, there we are, Arial. Yeah, that's fine. And the body should be lato. There we go. Now, what I was saying before, you can try out different sizes before you write it to your CSS, just with the Chrome Inspector here. Now, if you're using group. Google Chrome, yours may be on the right or the left. You can change where it is right here by hitting these three little dots. You can have it on the bottom, on the right, on the left, or you can have it as a separate floating panel. I prefer mine on the bottom usually. And like I say, just make sure you've got the Elements tab open and the Styles tab, and you'll find your CSS underneath. So let's test out. So that again looks too small, but say we don't know what size we want it. Let's just type in font size colon and let's just put in any old value let's put in 16 pixel semicolon so now that's 16 pixels and you can actually just left click on it until it highlights that, that and scroll your mouse wheel and scroll it up or down and make it bigger or smaller until you're happy with it and when you're happy with it Yeah, it looks about right. All you need to do is just copy it from the just before the F to right just after the semicolon there. Copy. Let's put it in our bracket style sheet. Doesn't matter really. I'm going to put it under font family because that's usually where you find it. But I, I don't think it's going to make any difference if you put it on top. Let's just tidy that up. There we go. And quick save, control S, back to the site. Now had I refreshed just now, that would have reverted back to what it was before, which is not being there, because uh, this is non-destructive. It doesn't matter what you do here, once you hit that refresh button, it's going to revert back to how it was until you write it into that CSS file that we've just done there. So when I hit refresh here, it shouldn't change at all. Fantastic. So that is how to change your font family and font styles. Of course, if you want to change the font color, you can do that as well. Uh, let's give it something stupid. Oh, it's already got a color in there. So all you need to do is change that value right there. Um, let's give it a silly color, shall we? Light, say light green. I'll just say light green. Bring that light green there we go put that in control s to save go back to our site refresh this and no change okay something must be overriding let's see if anything has changed yep our body text colors changed here to that silly light green not that we want to keep that why hasn't this changed let's have a look see something's obviously overriding it There it is right there. The services section, it's got a bit of CSS just for this section right here. Yeah, if I take that off, see that's changed it to the green. And that is in the main CSS line 602. 
So if we wanted to change this and overwrite that, we just go to line 602. Six oh one, six oh two. Here's that services. There's that color. All we need to do is change that to light green. Now, when we refresh, that should go to that green. There we go. So, like I say, usually you can do it all with one go, but sometimes you've got some overriding CSS. So I hope that's been useful to you. That is how to change your body and heading font styles and colors in Bootstrap.